Have you ever been wandering through the Italian section of a wine store and seen those little strips of paper that say DOC and DOCG and wonder what the heck they meant? Well, today we're going to talk about it. So first we got to talk about what DOC and DOCG are. Denominazione di origine or Denominazione Denominazione <laughs> di origine controllata e garantita. Di origine cont controllata e garantita. Denominazione di origine controllata. What the DOC is, is a system of laws that was created back in 1963 to sort of mimic or mirror the very successful French AOC laws. So what do the DOC laws do? Well, basically they regulate everything. The geographic area where the wines can be made, the permitted grape varieties, the amount of oak aging, the yields that can be taken off of the vineyards, Everything in the DOC is regulated by law. So there's DOC and DOCG. What does the G add? The G adds garantita or a guarantee. And the guarantee is that the wineries have submitted their samples to a testing facility to test for minimum alcohol content, aging requirements, grape quality. So basically it's just a labeling system to give the consumer a guarantee. But I guarantee to you, DOC wines are just as high quality, and even some of the ones that exist outside of those boundaries are also of very high quality. Of course, in 1963, when they first instituted the DOC laws, there was a small handful of appellations that were designated as DOC. An appellation, for those who don't know, is nothing more than a geographic boundary. With time, all the way into the early 1970s, mid-1970s, all of a sudden that number had exploded. Today there are nearly 330 DOCs. So what happened was the really prestigious first appellations, Brunello di Montalcino, Barolo, Barbaresco, Vino Nolo di Montalciano, these appellations felt like they shouldn't be grouped in with these other 300 appellations. So they petitioned the government to create a higher level, and that was the DOCG. This was supposed to be a grouping of Italy's most prestigious wine regions. And then it became a little muddled, particularly in the region of Chianti and Chianti Classico. Both regions, Chianti, the larger region, and Chianti Classico, the more historic classic region, both have been awarded the DOCG, which is confusing to the consumer, I think, because let's say a bottle of Fattoria La Ripa Mona Lisa Chianti. It's absolutely delicious wine. It's $10, $11 a bottle. has the same designation as Poggerino's Chianti Classico Reserva, which is $45 a bottle. So in the consumer's mind, the $10 Chianti and the $45 Chianti have the same designation. So if the wine doesn't have the DOC or the DOCG label on it, is it still a good wine? Before I answer that, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell, and leave some comments below. So in Italy, there are actually four different classifications of wine. Vino de Tavola, which you never see in this country, they don't export it to us. The DOCG, the highest level, the DOC, and then there's this other category of wines that fall into the IGT category. This is for all the other wines that don't adhere to the specific rules of the DOCG or the DOC, and this is an all-encompassing sort of classification system that we'll talk about in a future video. There are beautiful wines made outside of these geographic boundaries that are absolutely fabulous but because they don't have the governing body they don't have to follow the rules for the area that might be their neighbor an example of this would be a wine like flaccianello it could slash should be one of the great wines of chianti but because it's outside of the boundary it can't be called that therefore it can't have a docg on it 
It's one of the greatest wines in the world, but it's not going to get that stamp of quality that you see with the DOC and DOCG labeling. So what does DOC and DOCG mean for the consumer? Well, it's a protection of authenticity for the consumer. You want to know that if you're spending 50, 60, $100 on a bottle of wine, that it actually comes from that appellation, that the grapes are all grown in that appellation. It's also a protection for the producer who, if he's spending millions of dollars on acres of land in a very prestigious area, he doesn't want the guy down the road to be able to call his wine, let's say Barolo, when the grapes do not come from the Barolo region. Now that you have a better idea of the difference between DOC and DOCG wines, shop with us online at abcfws.com or visit one of our stores across the state of Florida. We have a great Italian selection with tons of DOC and DOCG wines. I guarantee you like the selection. And check out some of our other videos.